Now you're on your third tour now. Yes, sir. What tours have you been on in the past? Uh, I did a Slaughterhouse tour two years ago. Last year, <laughs> with my dog, Jody Hyrola, Mr. Riff Raff, crazy tour. Famous Dex now, this is crazy tour, isn't it? Do you remember your first show ever? First show, oh yes. Can you take us back to that moment? <laughs> Did it go according oh, to plan for you? Uh, oh, oh yes, I, I, I love to perform. So they, oh, they always go as planned, but this was cool, this was fun. Um, my first show. Where was it? It was at a Times Square Art Center in the city. Uh, and I had everybody there. I had my cousin dressed up as a preacher. I was, I'm all about the show, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, and um, I had my mother there, my grandmother, everybody was there. Oh, and, um, wow. I actually won too. It was crazy. It was it was it was what a, it was an awesome performance, man. When you say you won, it was like a competition. Yeah, it was like a competition. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you. Well, what about your first show that wasn't a competition? Like it was a show that you were performed at. You were scheduled to be there. I don't know if you were opening or um, maybe your first, first non-competition show. Oh, my first non-competition show. Um, like a real sh real rap show. Yeah, I want to say my real rap shows were uh, definitely um, came along with with the Slaughterhouse tour. Ah, um, yeah, the first one. I mean, actually, all of them they didn't go as planned. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm on tour with Slaughterhouse, bunch of rappers, bunch of lyricists, and I'm like the wild one coming on, and I'm not just all lyrics. I'm jumping around, and they was like, uh, but then they started to get with the program, you know. But um, yeah, they were a tough crowd. So I knew once I got them to really mess with me, I knew I had a, I was like, all right, yeah, this is, a, I'm in the right field, you know, because they were tough, they were tough. With that type of crowd, did you challenge them or did you feel defeated? Oh, I challenged them. I you challenged did. them. I had them jumping up and down by the time my fourth song came. Cause I, I, I no, you gonna respect what I'm doing, you know? So that was awesome. Were you nervous? Nervous? No, no, no. Not nervous at all. Um, Not shy? Nah, not shy at all. I'm here to work. Sometimes I do interviews about this subject matter, and uh, even rappers that have been doing this for a while, they still get nervous right before they hit the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, little jitters, you know, um, um, butterflies. If, if you don't get butterflies, that's when I'm scared because, you know, you, you just don't know what's out there and what you... I'm just so excited. I got to let it all out, you understand? So, um, uh, nerve, butterflies, man, you know, because I just want to be want to do my best. I just want them to, you know, but it's not, it, it, it's not really like, I can't explain it. I don't want to say it's nervous though. It's funny, it's a funny feel. It's just excitement. I want to say it's more excitement than anything. Or maybe, is it a fear of the unknown? Like, is the crowd going to mess with me? What's the crowd going to react to my stage show? Is it, is it that? The excitement of the unknown. Like, it's not fear. I, I, I really, like, not even for a lack of, like, I'm not the macho man. Like, oh, no, no, I don't be scared or anything. But I don't, I really, I don't, I don't think it's fear. I think it's excitement more than anything. Because huh. it's the, the, the chance to meet and engage with new fans and all, all of that just excites me. You understand? So even nowadays, uh, you may have butterflies before, right, like of right course, before you every hit show, day. every when, show. When does it leave? When does the butterfly after stop? the first after the first minute? You it, it, not, the zone is the zone. What happens is everything slows down, mm. and it's like oh, back to regular schedule program. <laughs> this is what I do. Ah, and then it's you know so. I see. Now, um, having that butterfly feeling is that necessarily a bad thing? No, it's a great thing. Like I said, I. You know, Jordan said it best, you know, like he had butterflies before every game. That's what fueled his fire. You have to be excited. You have to be nervous or whatever it is to perform. You, you, you know, you just can't be like nonchalant. That means you care because you care about what, what you're going to put out, your output, and you care about how, you're, how it's perceived. Mm. So I love it. I love the, the butterflies is everything. Ever under the influence? Of drugs? Yeah, when performing? Uh, no, nah, maybe drink a little bit. I don't smoke, though. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. Because uh, if people drink, you know, sometimes they refer to that as liquid courage. Yeah. Nah, to kind of get over nerves or nah, the butterflies. I don't really drink like that. I don't, I don't smoke at all. So it's just me. I'm high of life. Is that on purpose? Do you purposely uh, not drink so you can perform at nah, your best? No, nah, it's just me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got you. Now, um... What's been your best show ever so far up until this point? 
out of all the shows you've done, I've had some good ones. Is there one that particularly stands out that was just your best show so far that you've you've performed? Oh yeah, I would say yeah, Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Yeah. What's Summer that? Jam? Wow, Summer Jam. What's that like? That was awesome. That's great. Again, being a New York artist, Summer Jam is out everything. You understand? Summer Jam, and then you have Powerhouse now. But Summer Jam is like so you know Big J and everybody has done you know has performed at these at this event. So to be able to grace that stage, man, was. Just everything, man. So I jumped over the cage, like sure. there's a barricade. I jumped from the stage over the barricade. They, they caught me midair, like awesome, 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 awesome. How many people do you think you performed in front of that night? That, uh, I want to say, uh, it got to be 30,000, like at least. Was that your biggest crowd so far oh, that course, you touched? Of course, of course, of course. I can't even imagine that. Is that like the Super Bowl of, of, of concerts for maybe like a New York artist to do East oh, Coast Oh, yeah, of artists? course. Of course. Of course. That's it. That's it for us. I imagine performing in, at Madison Square Garden is probably a big deal, too. I brought out a boxer in Madison Square Garden, so <laughs> that was awesome, too. That was great. That was actually in front of a good crowd, I think 25,000. Mm. Uh, yeah, pay-per-view fight. I brought out Danny Jacobs. That was awesome. Shout out to my dog. How does that work? Because, you know, we've seen a, a rapper with a boxer bring him out. and that's, Is that something that's negotiated and you're booked for something like that, like yeah. on a whim, like last minute? No, or that's that not something? last minute. That's a month. Hey, that's, oh, it's yeah, well yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I guess the boxer has a relationship but, with you or likes your song yeah, in particular? Yeah, exactly. It's a song and then they just reach out. You have the people reach out and then we reach out and then we connect, you know? It's good because mm -hmm. uh, me and him have a relationship now. I'm going to this fight on Saturday, you know? So. Ah. So prior to then, you weren't like friends or anything? No, 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 no. no. He reached out because yeah. he liked your music? Yeah, exactly. He won that fight? No, he lost. He what? lost No, that. no, no. Hey, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I, everybody thought he won the fight, but he lost to Triple G. Let me tell you something. I'm not saying that because he came out with me. He hasn't been able to get a fight since because how well he fought Triple G. Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh. wow, like, wait, what is this? You know, so his career took off after the loss because he did so well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a, it was a crazy fight. They went 12 rounds and everything. Uh-huh. Now, okay, somebody watching this, yeah. let's say it's their first rap show, okay? Uh, any general advice you have for somebody watching this about to perform at their first rap show? Anything you would tell somebody like that? Anything I would tell somebody? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Believe in yourself. Go hard. Put God first. And um, it ain't over until you say it's over, man. You're going to get what you get out. Whatever you put in, you're going to get out. It's that simple. You know, just go hard, man. Don't let them tell you. Don't let them tell you no. You understand? You make everybody in that crowd a fan, even yourself. <laughs> like, you know, so I just tell them, man, go hard, man. It sounds so cliche, but go hard. Go get yours, man. That's your moment. When I... I when I'm performing, I, I hear lose yourself in my head. Eminem like, like you better lose yourself in the moment. You know, that, that's, that's it. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Like that's awesome, man. So just lose yourself, man, in that moment. 